Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at lobbytools.com. Cut the cake, not Social Security. That's the motto retirees are touting as they celebrate 84 years of the program. This is the kind of legislation that makes America great. For retirees like Barbara Devane, Social Security is a lifeline. It's all that stands between me and poverty, and I'm not alone. Advocates for retirees say one of their greatest challenges is dispelling the myth that young people today will never see the benefits of Social Security. FSU students we spoke with say they were either unsure. I haven't been taught anything about it. It's just like hearsay. Or are preparing for the worst. That's just kind of how I live my life, you know. I'm not really relying on it. But Bill Sowers with the Florida Alliance for Retired Americans says the program is self-sustaining. The more people you have involved, the lower the cost or risk for everyone involved. Baby boomers are projected to see smaller payments by 2035, but advocates say even that could be avoided by raising the current cap. Annual earnings above $132,900 aren't subject to the 6.2% Social Security tax. Raise that to 250, we would have enough money to pay 100% benefits forever and ever, amen, plus have money to expand it. As of this year, retiring at 66 comes with a maximum payout of $2,861 a month. Reporting at the State Capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.